It's now come to the end of the year, and we are an hour plus away in Frostproof, Florida, doing some photos and videos. So let's get going. There you go, boom. Intro done, that's all I needed. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Oh, happy, happy New Year. So in this video, it's gonna be a little different. We actually had Cars and Coffee, which we host at the joinery here in Lakeland, Florida. And then after that, asharp.curve on Instagram, the guy with the white RS3, he said, hey, let's go get ice cream. I'm like, okay, cool, sure. So we got breakfast and then shot off to get ice cream and uh, just so happened that it was an hour away. So we had a rally with the boys, Lewis's E60 M5's up and running of with the DCT swap. We talked about that a couple months ago. There will be a video on that, but anyways, I'm getting good now. So this video starts out with some cool car stuff and then we'll get into this year and some plans that we might have coming up. Even though I can't talk about a lot of them, we're gonna talk a little bit about them. So enjoy the video, guys. See you later. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas? I said that last video, I think. Okay, happy New Year. BMW M550. Cool. Morning from a cold central Florida. It's the end of the year, and what better way to end the year on the YouTube channel than with cool cars?
As you can see, we got like half the crew with us. What we're gonna do now, after Cars and Coffee, we're gonna head to Kiki's and get some good food, and then Daryl's gonna take us to a spot about an hour away to do some photos and videos. So I don't know, this video, I was just planning on making a Cars and Coffee thing, and then talk to the camera about the new year and like how this past year went. But I think now we're just gonna make a whole freaking video out of it with car stuff. That's exciting. So we had some food, we just got some gas, and now we're going out to a place called Frostproof Florida. We're pretty much just getting together to drive and then go get ice cream. Let's go. It's like overcast, 62 degrees. I'm so excited that his E60 is now driving on the road. E60 M5. Let's go. 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 Let's go went through traffic and it's so crazy just to hear that thing shift instantly like a PDK or something. As we got into Frostproof, the E60 M5 actually had to leave. He came out with us and had a good time, and every time he drives a car, he's doing some data logging to kind of tell the TCU exactly what to do and to refine the tune. So him driving out there just to turn around and go home wasn't just a waste. He actually got a lot of beneficial data, hopefully, because <laughs> it's been a bit of an issue. So as he left, he went ahead and found a couple of cool spots, but we had to get some ice cream first, and then we could start shooting. I, I was reading that, all right? I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> Cool little place. What's sunken treasure? It's a really cool spot, but are those hoods? No way. Oh yeah, there's more cars. Oh my god, there's a 280 CE in there? Dude. They're gonna be thinking we're trying to rob the place. Wow, dude, there's all sorts of old cars in there. 
This is the place we were just taking pictures at. It looks like an old school, run down used car place. And we're looking through the glass, and there's a bunch of old cars in here, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, man. There's a bunch of old stuff in there. So hard to see. Oh, it's dusty on the inside. Yeah, someone's been in here recently. Yeah, it looks like they've been doing some work. Or, yeah, it looks like he works on old Mercedes. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, random photo location one was a total success. This place is so cool, man. It has all those old Mercedes in there. There's a Porsche 928. So freaking cool. I have a feeling this whole sequence is going to be like music after song after song after song and then uh, just b-roll. It looks like styrofoam. I know, I thought it was styrofoam, but it's concrete. Oh shit. You hit that, you're f***ing. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm not just trying to pull in here like oh, I was just trash. Yeah. Boom, hit it. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Car coming, car coming, car coming, car coming, car coming. Just back it straight up. There's literally nothing down there. Ooh. Come get some! Cormile dig. Cormile dig! Off the arm drop. Turn to the right where you are, Caleb. I just want to go down. It's just real short distance. Sounds good. There's a car coming. Hold on. I think we pretty much got all the shots we need and want and have had some fun photos. I mean, you guys seen how this has all been so far. Now we're going to head down the road to this railroad track that supposedly decommissioned and just see what it looks like and if it's good we'll get some shots b-roll that stuff the same thing it's been this entire time but otherwise we're probably gonna head home after this it's like five o'clock we only intended on being here till three but here we are now and my camera's hanging out the window Before this video ends, I just want to say thank you. Not just to you guys, the viewer, my friends, family, my supporters. I, three years ago, I quit my job in order to pursue this as a business before the YouTube. You know, when I started this journey, it really was just for fun. I really just wanted to record everything I did, not just for the sake of showing customers, hey, I record this, but really it was because I enjoyed it. I love making videos, I love taking photos. But anyways, this year was uh, probably one of the craziest years of my life. I know that sounds dramatic and it kinda is, I guess you could say, but in terms of my career and anything I've ever had going for me in my entire life, this was the most exciting year. I mean, let's talk about a couple of the cool cars that I never thought I would ever get up close and personal with, like an Evo 1 GSR that was imported. I got to get my hands on a Stagia, super cool. An R34, we ended the year with an R34. How sick is that? Uh, Golf R's, GTI's, uh, BMW's, massive trucks. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. I'm sure I'm forgetting, I'm sure I'm forgetting other cool cars. And then the events we went on this year and I recorded and not just recorded and made a video, but I did what my dream is, and that's to make a very high quality cinematic type hot boy car video. And I did that. I had 
always wanted to do that. Went on the biggest trip of my life with people that I love most. I mean, we went to North Carolina and to Tennessee, did Tail the Dragon, all of those roads around there. Then we went down to Helen, Georgia for Alpine Volks Fair. Just one of the craziest trips of my entire life. And that says a lot because I grew up flying back and forth to Sweden. And it's like, that was amazing. And I remember it to this day, even though I was six, but that trip was amazing. And I can't wait to do it again this year. Yes, <laughs> we are doing it again this year. A little bit more time spent up in Tennessee, but we are gonna go down to Georgia, I think. Obsessed Garage open. Oh my God, I don't even think I've told you guys. Uh, we are now partner affiliates or whatever that's called with Obsessed Garage. That's a dream come true. Even if it's just me shilling that company for their products, like, hey guys, go buy this product from this company. They're great people, but like now, I'm affiliated with them in some way. I'm not just a personal level, but like a business level. That's just... <laughs> And then of course, BMW Invasion this past year was crazy. It was actually my best performing video this year in terms of upload time and views. Mostly, I think, because I enjoyed making that so much, it reflected on the video, which then reflects on the viewers. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy making every single video, just that one was really special to me because I used a gimbal. I had figured out and mastered using a gimbal. We got the E39. The E39 is not done yet because when I got it all finished, the oil pans are leaking. So I went ahead and did the oil pan gasket transmission. I literally did everything. And then now it's up on jack stands because we're doing all of the suspension. So the E39 will be finished this year, here actually in like two months or so. I wanna get it ready for BMW Invasion. It's currently January, it's February, it's one. Just nuts, man. So thank you guys for an amazing year. And I can't wait for 2024 because there's so much stuff planned. And I said at the beginning of last year that I had some big stuff planned for 2023. And as you can see, it kind of worked out that way. And now for 2024, I have some stuff on my mind. I just can't tell you about it yet because it's gonna be big. And so thank you to you guys, thank you to my friends, my family, and biggest, biggest shout out and thank you to Stoner Car Care. You guys have been with me from the very start. They are a wonderful company to work with. The people I talk with there are amazing, and the products they send me are so good. And if you guys are interested, of course, shameless plug down below in the comments, there are the products I use from Stoner's down there. Cool, I think I'm done now. I got a G-Wagon here, an M550. I have to get to work. Actually, I gotta do a little bit of editing real quick, and then I'll get to work, so. Ah. I'm very happy to be here, guys. It's been a long road, and we are nowhere near the finish line. So, appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in the next video. I see ya. Goodbye.